In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to teach your players to communicate with umpires and how to teach a coach how to communicate with umpires. What is proper, what is the right way to do it, and what is the way that's gonna get you thrown out of the game? That a boy! Yes, sir! One thing you have to understand about umpires is they're human. They make mistakes just like we make mistakes as coaches. So understanding that beforehand, and, and honestly I tell my players all the time that you, you have to understand that mistakes are going to be made and you can't let it affect you. And another thing to really be keen on is make sure you know that umpire's name. Um, calling him blue or yelling at him just, hey, what do what, what you see? That, that's not going to get you anywhere. And, making sure you know that that's John behind the plate or that's Steve in the field and being able to communicate with him that way, human to human, not umpire to coach, it is a big, big thing that's going to help you out in that process. One thing with your players in terms of how they interact with umpires is actually teaching them how to communicate properly. It's not like the player can't say anything to the umpire, it's how you ask it. Um, you can ask an umpire how far outside that pitch was or was that too high. I think normally you're going to get a, a decent response from an umpire in that stance. But yelling at him or saying, why was that, that's not a strike. That's not going to get the response that you want. That's obviously going to get the umpire's you know, guard up and he's going to re react appropriately to that situation. So teaching a player how to communicate properly, when is the right time to communicate, when is the wrong time, when is the time for the coach to talk, those are the things that to talk to your players about either after a bad situation happens or even prior. And one other thing with the communication aspect from a player to an umpire, I think that you see this on the pro level all the time is, is pro players interact with those umpires. They're not just talking about the calls on the field, they're asking them how their day's going, they're asking them about you know, what they did on the weekend, and they're just trying to honestly build a, a conversation. They're not doing it so much to, to get calls on the field, they're treating them like a human being. And you know that's, that's something that again builds that rapport, and in, honesty, in all honesty, I think it kind of keeps the umpire um, just in a calm state of mind during that game and, and not looking to kind of bang a player for no reason on an out call or, or call that strike that's six inches out. My way of communicating with that umpire, I think the umpire understands that there's going to be some communication and disagreements with a coach, but there's a proper way to go about talking to that umpire, okay? One, yelling at him, screaming at him, telling him that he's an idiot, Telling him that he's wrong is not gonna change the call. It never has. I've never once seen an umpire come up to me after, after doing that and saying, you know what, coach, you're right. He's safe, he's not out. So it never is gonna change the call. I think the best thing you can do in those situations, because you, you wanna show your team that you're fighting for them, that you believe in them, I think the best way to go in those situations is to calmly walk out to that umpire at call time, ask that you can talk to him about the play, see what his perspective was, and then kind of tell them, okay, this is what I saw, and then go your separate ways. That's the only thing you can do. He understands that you have to kind of go out there and, and show up for your team, but at the same point, you can't make you know, yourself look like an idiot out there. It's not gonna do you any good. It's probably gonna get you thrown out of the game. That's gonna hurt your team. And umpires have, have they've umpired a lot of games. They've seen a lot of coaches, both good and bad. So don't think that you can cheat the system. Don't think that you're that special umpire or you're that special coach that can manipulate the umpire and get your calls because it, it just isn't going to happen. They've seen you before. So again, the, the best thing is to, is to go about your job. You're a coach, you're not an umpire. He has a job, you have a job. Don't try to be the umpire for him. Don't try to tell him he's right or wrong or where was that pitch or where, how safe or out was he. Don't, don't do that because you're not gonna change his call. Thanks for watching this video, we really appreciate it. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button so you can watch future videos.